Okay. Day afternoon, I think. We're up near a place called Norfolk, which is a make-up name, I think. And uh, we're here with Blake, the guide, Marty, Michael, Steve. <laughs> and Marty has just asked Blake how come all these trees are dead if they have so much wood. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So even even going back six months ago, it wasn't flat out. We had people in there that couldn't because they're building houses, you know, and they're all self-contained, so we're all allowed to leave them in there. Yep. Fucking unbelievable. Everything you hear about it, but, you know, we, I mean, but I've been in Canberra, but uh, we haven't been busier. Like, you just, it's unbelievable. But, in some ways, it's kind of good, because it means that we aren't all spending our money overseas. That's good. True. Exactly. Like it, yeah. You know, I think as much as everyone's screaming, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Points on that side, okay. On the left hand side. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to go get me bigger hat and my sun sock. He'll need his net, mate. Fair hook. So there's, there's some on the other side, is there? No, it's alright, I'll use the one on the other side. That's the short fella, though. Yeah. See if it'll reach. That's bigger than I was remembering. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. <laughs> bigger than you remember. Meow! <laughs> oh yes, it has. Has anyone got a net? <laughs> oh, fuck. You should see the size of this caddy. <laughs> I got some. Mate, you pulled that from back. I did. I saw how hard it pulled it. Oh. <laughs> I was convinced it was a bear. The way it pulled. It's about that wide. I have not seen a caddy that big around here. I haven't seen a caddy that big anywhere. <laughs> Fucking hell. They call them that big in the tree. That's a proper soldy. Yeah. Come here, buddy. On the, on the vibe. Yeah, soft vibe. He had a nibble on that before. I had one that turned the plastic inside out here, too. I've had a few bites on the vibe. Right here in this Do you want me to hold your line, or...? I don't want to get spiked by something that big. No. It'll hurt. I'm going to get fatty dead here. <laughs> Yeah. Hold the catch up, Bill. Hey? Okay. Hold the catch up. That's 
<laughs> it's it's fucking it. No, it's fucking huge. It, it doesn't stop at the head, it goes halfway down its body. Oh no, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's all stomach, mate. Where Jesus are my clothes? Christ! That's what a caddy pool's like. What's a barrel like? <laughs> so we're running with the wind and we're fishing the points. What he's told us is that um, the barrel will follow follow the, the bait fish as they're being pushed by the wind and it's only a light breeze but it's enough so that's what we're now doing after that uh, that big catfish I caught and by all standards that's a pretty big one for around here certainly had me wondering for a bit even though they tell us to stay as a group it's sort of everyone's sort of broken off again so I'm just following what the guide's telling me to do, and that's to follow the bait trail. So even though we've all hooked what we think were barra, or well, nearly all of us have, but no one's actually caught one yet, other than the guide, it's uh, it's still a, an amazing, still an amazing experience. Scotty Bryant, Aussie kayak, barren bass fishing on Facebook he you know we got breakfast delivered to us this morning we're out in the water so we had bacon egg sandwiches out on the water I did make a complaint that we didn't get coffee <laughs> there should be a he should have a floating coffee shop I reckon but yep I'll give him another plug Aussie kayak and uh, Aussie kayak Barra and bass fishing, or bass fishing and barra, whatever it is. Also, absolutely awesome experience. Can't recommend it highly enough. He looks after you. <laughs> no, I've, I've already done way more than the thousand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Flip it, flip it. Give it hard. Marty tree fishing again, eh? Woo! Hey, bro. It looks very inviting, but I don't want to be sacrilegious on a sacred island. You wouldn't believe how nice this is. I bet you it's really nice. 29 degrees. Well, I'm not sure how well you can see this, uh, but uh, it's nice last night. We've had a bit of fun this afternoon. You'll have seen that. Playing around with catfish near the boat. And just generally mucking around. We did go out for a fish this morning on uh, Blake's boat. Um, none of us, including Blake, got anything. So he's off scouting around at the moment. We're just going to have a... This may be him coming now, but... We're going to have a muck around up here in front of us. We may even wind up fishing it. But our plan is we're going to fish pretty much the entire night tonight. Uh, so we're going to give it a red hot crack tonight including uh, uh, Marty having a serious go with uh, <laughs> with his live live baiting okay I'm just thinking I hope I remembered my headlights because I need them all right I can't recommend this highly enough <laughs> we haven't had any luck with uh, this headlamp we have not had any luck at all with Barramundi on this trip but that's nothing to do with the guys that organise the trip and run the trip so that's Scotty and Blake Scotty's an absolute fantastic guide and uh, it's, I, I just can't speak highly enough of these guys fantastic adventure to do I don't really know what else I can say other than uh, a thank you to Martin from Burley Pro. Absolutely fantastic, mate. Thank you so much for for letting me tag along. Scotty, Scotty Bryant, uh, can't say enough about Scotty. He's just magic, he organises the shit out of everything. Uh, the only downside is, so far, 
the weather has been against us. Today is probably the, the well, the, today is not probably. Today is the best day so far. We're uh, we've got a good moon tonight, so I'll show you that. So this is the very best chance we've got of net in a barra this week. East coast of Australia has copped an absolute pounding in the last seven or eight days. It is what it is, it's fishing, but we've had a great time nonetheless. Nonetheless, and anyone who wants to take this up, I'll put a link down below so that you can do that easily. All right, so the video picture is about to get really, really bad and I'm running through cobwebs at the moment, so unless I put something up from tomorrow morning when we're packing up, we'll see you. Well, it's the next morning, the last morning. We've got about an hour. You can see the sun's just come up. So last night, I got back about, uh, I think I finished. Blake and I stopped fishing about midnight. Marty's got back about two o'clock, he reckons, with his live rigging. Didn't do any good, live baiting. Uh, so I caught one catfish. Uh, Blake caught a catfish, that's our guide. Blake very definitely hooked up onto a barrow. We saw it when it come up, uh, but he dropped it. And I dropped it. another fish. Well, I didn't really drop it. I only had it on the, on the line for a second or two. <coughs> and I don't know what it was. See what there is. Oh, that was a good one. And if you don't know how to fix a uh, backlash like that, that's all you basically do. You just pull it out straight away. Don't go fucking with it. Just pull it out. And then make sure you put a bit of tension on the line and wind it. <laughs> and don't do that. And wind it. back onto the spool with a bit of tension on the line because more often than not your backlash is caused by so you've either not set the tension knob correctly if you're using the tension knob or you've taken your thumb off the spool uh, you're casting into wind or your lure hits something and believe me everyone gets backlashes This is a barra. That was a fucking boat coming.
I just got a bear bath. I had a funny feeling about that, you know. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> 